Hey guys, it's Shalom Pop Culture. How are you guys doing? I just want to get right into this video because Miss Ray, actually I'm not even going to call her Ray, I'm going to call her by a government name. Miss Rachel Keane has released her debut album, 21st Century Blues. This is a phenomenal album. So many different genres within one album. I'm just going to get right into it. So if you don't know who Ray is, she's a 25 year old British singer songwriter and i'm gonna say british because you know she's repping for us british people so of course i'm gonna you know mention she's british so she's a british so singer songwriter and um she has a lot of hits of her own so she has uh don't know me which she featured on so it's jack's jack jones jack's jones's song but she features on it and that song has 567 million streams on spotify to date she also has secrets which has 358 million streams on spotify to date and one of her most recent hits, Escapism, featuring 070, 070? Shake, featuring, um, yeah, featuring 070 Shake. It has uh, 199 million streams. And also Escapism is her standout single for 21, 21st Century Blues. Um, it went number one in the UK pretty quickly. And it's currently, it fell to number two, but that, that doesn't really matter. A win is a win. Like it's still top three on the UK charts. Um, and Escapism gave her the uh, number 22 spot on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. So Ray is doing exceptionally well. She is finally getting the recognition she deserves. She's finally, all the work, hard work she put in for the past seven years. Because if you listen to the end of the album, she says, um, thank you for supporting me for the past seven years. It took me seven years to release this album. So if you listen, then there we go. And I noticed um, out of this whole 15 track album, she doesn't have many features. Like this album isn't loaded, loaded, loaded with features. She only has one feature, which is Mahalia. Mahalia, I think it's Mahalia. That's how you say it, on Five Star Hotels, which is a bop, 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 bop. And I just realised myself. I was like, notice how talented artists, how gifted and truly talented artists. They don't have like twenty five thousand features, like <coughs> Coyle Ray, <laughs> Coyle Ray. Yeah, they don't need like thirty thousand features on the album they can literally have maybe one or two maximum maybe three features on an album that's how talent works because you don't need other people to help boost your work and to help um boost your songs that's not how it works i'm gonna go through each song so we have the there's 15 songs i'm gonna go through every single one of them otherwise we'll be here for hours and hours and hours and because i've got a lot to say and have a big mouth but i'll go through the first song the first song is introduction which I was like, okay, I like this, nice and bluesy, it's jazzy. And then the second song, um, Oscar Winning Tears, oh my gosh, I love that song so much, especially at the beginning of the song. I, what I like about this album is sort of like a diary in a way, it's like a voice note diary, because in the beginning she's like, uh, Ray says, um, turn off your phones, uh, put your earphones in, relax, because um, the story is about to begin which I love. I don't know why. It just made me feel so comfortable and I could just grab a cup of tea and just listen to it. And this is an album where you literally need to just put your earphones in, relax and just submerge into it. You know what I mean? Because it's very lyrically fueled. Like you have to listen to the lyrics. If you want to enjoy this, you have to listen to it. It's not like Ice Spice or like Coil Ray where they have like 20 writers writing really basic hooks. This is like lyrically fueled music the lyrics they make you feel something they are like mm, you know and um in oscar winning tears oh that song is phenomenal her vocals oh my gosh i couldn't be happier because talent is back <laughs> raised vocals in that song in every song but in that song oh my gosh the control that she has she's so blessed because she has so much vocal control oh it's just perfection in how she's literally just saying in the song, you know, you can cry your tears, you can cry your sympathy tears, but you know, that, that, like that's not gonna bother me. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm gonna to get a front row seat. If you know what I mean. Um, and then I'm gonna go. I'm sort of gonna skip a bit, and I'm gonna skip to Ice Cream Man. Oh my gosh, this song Ice Cream Man. I was enjoying the album. I was like, yeah, this song was a bop. This song was a bop. As soon as it got to Ice Cream Man. I was literally, what she, the lyrics she was saying, I was literally gobsmacked. I was like, oh. as soon as she said she got sexually assaulted by a producer, I was like, oh. but it's the way she tells the story. Like, she's like, 
she's telling it sort of step by step. So she's like, I'm a producer DM'd me and then he said, you know, I think we can make really good music. I get to the studio and then he starts saying and doing things and moving really wild and susly and, you know, really, really weirdly, which um it honestly breaks my heart because to make music as a female isn't easy I and mean, you shouldn't have to get sexually assaulted if to make music. It's just it's disgusting. It's uh, and that's not the only time that she mentions sexual assault or being touched in a weird way. I think I can't remember what song it is. Um, but she says, "Get your chubby pink fingers off of me." Um, and she's like, "The producers, the white, the white men, get your chubby pink fingers off of me," which I think I thought it was like sort of quite funny because she's like, "Your chubby pink fingers," but then at the same time, it's not because she's talking about sexual assault. So, yeah, but that song is amazing. I also love Body Dysmorphia. That song is chef's kiss because I don't know maybe it's just because I I don't know I don't relate to it but I understand where she's coming from in a way like the way that she says things and it's really easy when you think really gorgeous people like Ray or other artists that they don't have body dysmorphia or don't have body issue problems just because they're pretty when in reality they have the same problems as us they're human they eat poop and we the same as us, the same as us so yeah that's I don't know why when I was younger I used to think that, you know, celebrities don't have problems with body issues or like eating disorders, but they do. They're human. They function like humans. They have emotions. They're not robots that are just supposed to look perfect all the time. They're humans. And this song perfectly highlights that for Ray. And I love that for her, that she's being really vulnerable on this song. Um, My next favourite song I have to go through um, is Worth It. Worth It is so good. It's so sort of funk and upbeat and the way she starts the song with her vocals like da, 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 da. like she does the little runs the vocal runs that, oh it's just <laughs> it's sickening honestly it's really sickening how good it is this album it was just perfectly done even the way she promoted it is perfectly done to be honest she didn't even have to promote this the album that much really because once escapism took off on all platforms and tiktok um, that sort of set the tone for the album and then she only posted a couple of times on Instagram about you know her album's coming out on February the 3rd or blah blah blah, blah but she didn't really promote it that much and uh, if to give you a backstory on Ray she was signed to Polydor Records but they parted ways in 2018 I think it was 2017 I'm not quite sure but it's 2017 2018 because you know they had different visions of the music that Ray should be putting out because Prior to 21st Century Blues, Ray was putting out a very... How can I say this? They weren't bad songs because they were bops, because it's Ray. Ray doesn't do bad songs. They were very sort of cookie-cutter, pop, upbeat songs, if that makes any sense. And Ray obviously didn't want to do that. She wanted to do something else. And clearly, we got that with 21st Century Blues. Um, so, yeah, that's why she left the record label. She was finally able to leave. And thank God she left because we got this masterpiece of work, this masterpiece of talent. I uh, this is definitely my favorite album of the year, um, by far. Last year my favorite album was uh, SOS by Scissor. This year it's Ray. So whoever's next album is released, they've got a lot to put up with. So Chloe Bailey, Miley Cyrus, whoever's coming up their albums, you've got a lot to change my mind because this is phenomenal. This is really really good. This is what you call. Lyricis lyricism <laughs> lyricism and obviously if you don't know she is a songwriter she writes her own songs she's credited on every single one of the songs she not only writes her own songs but she's written songs for other massive artists she's written for Beyonce she wrote uh the bigger song um part of the Lion King um soundtrack for Beyonce she helped write that she's written for Madison Beer Rita Ora Little Mix um She's literally written for David Guest. She's written for so many people and she's credited on so many songs for writing. So it just shows her pen game is so strong. Her pen game and her storytelling is so strong. It's just amazing. It's sickening. And I hope, I'm just so happy for Ray because she's she seems so content with the music she's putting out. And I'm really, really happy for her. And each song, the transitions between each song are so smooth and flawless that I feel like that's why I like the, experience of her at the beginning saying sit tight um you know put your earphones in lock your phone because as soon as she said that I mean like the song had finished each song was transitioned so smoothly that I didn't even like turn my phone on because it transitioned so smoothly I was like you know next song next song 
um yeah i just don't know what to say that it was just such a good album i honestly don't have anything negative to say i tried so hard to find something bad to say but i can't because it's so good and the fact that this you know she persevered to release this album is great chef's kiss um I feel like this album is almost like a diary, if I haven't said that already. It's like a, yeah, it's literally like a diary. She's literally speaking at the end of songs or speaking in between. And the way that she just dibble and dabbles into different genres throughout the the album, she goes into R&B, she goes into soul, and then she goes into rapping, and then she goes into, like, so many genres. It's sickening to honest how talented someone is. She can sing, and then she starts rapping the next couple lines. It's just, her talent speaks for itself. And I feel like I, this, this, it's just her time to shine and I'm so happy for Ray. Um, and I wish her the best because she honestly does deserve it. Um, and I can see this album doing really, really well, especially during the summer. I can see these songs going really, really well. Um, my favourite songs on the album, if you want to go listen to them after watching this video, because obviously finish the video first and then you can go listen because, <laughs> you know. Uh, my favourite songs are, I would say... Um, Hard Out Here, Black Mascara, Escapism, Escapism, obviously, um, Ice Cream Man, Worth It, um, uh, Bust It Down, uh, Five Star Hotels, um, A Body Dysmorph, basically the whole thing. I just like the whole thing. Um, and yeah, that's all I've got to say. I also have a blog page where I have written a review for this. And I'll leave that link down below. This is basically if you like reading and twenty days and you have to like reading. Um, it's just sort of a condensed written form of my videos. And I like writing reviews for music because that's really something I like and I want to do. So if you like that, then go check them out. I'll put the link below. Like, comment, subscribe, um, share this video. And yeah, see you next time. Shalom Pop Culture out.